Hello YouTube and welcome back Blade Runner fans. Well, uh, it's been a little while since I did a video on Blade Runner related stuff and uh, a few days ago I posted uh, an update on what I got recently. Um, I received my uh, self-built self kit from Tip Top Workshop for the Blade Runner Blaster. That will take a while and that will uh, be on a on a hiatus a little longer until I uh, can give you an update on that. But in the meantime, I have something for you uh, that I also posted what I got yesterday and uh, that I will film a uh, review on now. Um, it will be a little shorter than the usual reviews, um, but I think I'm just going to show you what I got was, was uh, this. And uh, this is an holster, or Deckard's holster from the movie. It is made by uh, a guy on Etsy named Blaster Store DK. Um, I forgot his um, uh, actual name. But uh, yeah, it's made from leather. It comes uh, at a price point of around 120 euros and uh, 30 euros of shipping to Germany. Um, the guy sits in Denmark and uh, what we have here is uh, some nice quality leather, really good stitching, nothing sp special uh, like it, it has no metal spring in here to uh, keep it in shape or keep it in form. Uh, it has uh, a belt, uh, a thing where you can put the belt through, uh, no clip, no uh, extra uh, special thingy here. It is uh, much cheaper than the original Safari Land holster that you can find used on eBay. They're not produced anymore. And uh, as you can see, this is uh, quite, uh, has more like a light brown to it. It is, it is much lighter than the uh, actual Safari Land holster. It misses the uh, imprint here. And uh, like I said, nothing really special. But again, uh, if you're not willing to pay up to 600 euros for an original Safari Land holster or six hundred dollars uh, for an original Safari Land holster. This is probably the best way to go. Besides, maybe the Steinschneider holster that you can find on uh, Rob. I, I think his name is Rob. Robert. Robert Steinschneider uh, has a web page. I'll link this. Uh, the pages where you can find different uh, uh, this and uh, Robert Steinschneider's holster. And um, yeah, the the Stein Snyder holster goes uh, typically for around uh, 140 euros, uh, shipping included, comes from the US. But then again, you have to pay taxes for it uh, and customs. And uh, probably it will cost around 200 if you uh, get it into country, if you get it from the customs office. And um, yeah, like I said, this is some really good quality for what it is. Uh, I can put almost every blaster that I own in here. Um, I mean, I own a 3D printed one that is modeled after PK, uh, PKD Anderson, uh, the, the guy from the uh, RPF forum, and uh, he uploaded the files to Thingiverse so that you can 3D print the blaster. I put a lot of work into it. It was my first blaster. I put over 100 hours into it. And uh, currently, uh, I have it next to me. I can get it. But uh, at the moment, the um, bolt mechanism is mi missing because uh, the bolt mechanism is missing because um, I'm actually trying to blue it right now. And uh, as you can see here, it oh well that was my mistake. <laughs> it fits in here very nicely. It sits very snug. Has no. Uh, almost no room in here. Uh, what I did though was I uh, shortened the um, the mechanism to uh, for the light, and uh, I put in here the uh, fishing lights that I mentioned in a uh, blog post or in an um, in an update on the RPF. They work pretty well if I turn them on, and uh, when I put that in here uh, and flip the switch here and you can see it is pretty pretty cool to see that in here uh, but yeah um, what doesn't happen uh, because I shortened the switch is it doesn't turn on accidentally well I have to 
turn that a little. Would you kindly stay off? Thank you. So what doesn't happen when you put that in here, it doesn't turn on accidentally. And uh, that happened before, but uh, it fits in here pretty, pretty well. Uh, also, the uh, rubber blaster that I own and the Tomonosuke one are fitting quite perfectly in here. The um, uh, version from uh, Michel that I also own, uh, however, is a totally different uh, beast. It is so heavy that <laughs> I think it is not the best option to put in here, but the uh, 3D printed one uh, is quite good or quite great for cosplay. What happened here is, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but um, I tried to darken the leather and uh, then I accidentally uh, made some scuffs here and I put it on my belt and I uh, put it on, but yeah, it's when it arrives it is brand new. It has some scuffs here right now uh, because I did that or I accidentally did that and um, it doesn't arrive in that condition. Uh, it arrives quite well packaged. Uh, the guy from the Blaster Store Decay is, um, yeah, really, it had really fast shipping. It came, uh, it not even took a week uh, to arrive from Denmark to Germany. I can't really tell you how that is for the rest of the world, but still, a week from Denmark to, not even a week, and it was a weekend between that, uh, is quite a good delivery time. Like I said, it has good quality, and right now there's a helicopter flying right over my house. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, that's the price that you pay for doing late night reviews. Maybe some guy has gone swimming again in the river near my house. That happens from time to time, and then they send out a, a rescue helicopter to find the missing person. Uh, but yeah, I don't really know actually right now, but I don't really care. So yeah, um, what I think about this uh, is it is great quality, it has, a, it has a great price point, it is cheaper than most alternatives. There is a third option uh, that you can um, buy those holsters from and that is um, after, so to speak, aftermarket or uh, reproductions of the... Um, Safari Land holds the made in Japan, but they have a like they have an uh, engraving on the leather here that uh, something says about a uh, blaster gun or something. I, I I don't really know. I saw it and I thought no, 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 no. That it that looks so out of place. Uh, there's even a black version of this uh, that came up on an auction, and it has red stitching on it. It has black leather on it. I really think that is great. If uh, the guy who sells those uh, would be willing to put up like um, pre-cut out uh, papers to uh, work w with leather, I think for like let's just say uh, 20, 20 bucks or something, and that you would can could do the uh, holster yourself, that would be uh, even better. But yeah. There is, um, I think, no plans for that. And I think he would destroy his own business selling these uh, if he put out the uh, blueprints for the leather holster. But yeah, uh, as I mentioned, the Japanese uh, holster before, they come in around at like 200 euros, I guess. And um, from what I saw in the pictures on eBay and various marketplaces, uh, they are similar in quality they have no special uh no special thing on them the i believe the, the safari land holster had like a metal spring in here so that it would hold on to the belt better i don't really know i never uh, dived in on uh, detailed on the holster that much but um from what you can read on the rpf the uh, original safari land holster is yeah, not not as easy to reproduce, and if you don't have one, uh, it is like useless to try to replicate it because there is so much more quality to them, and uh, the Steinschneider uh, 
or, 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 or Stein Snyder uh, holds this are much more the, he offers like uh, two different version versions of them uh, one premium variant for around three hundred two hundred fifty dollars or three hundred dollars internationally and um, yeah this is uh, in no way shape or form comparable to a six hundred fifty uh, dollar holster it isn't meant to be because the original holster never was meant to be sold as such a on such a high price point it, it's just a piece of leather you guys and uh, even though the the hand crafting and the 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 workmanship that goes into those holsters is quite impressive it is handmade it's not machine made or anything uh I don't see a price point for an original Safari Land holster uh, at six hundred or six hundred fifty dollars. It's just because uh, the collector scene uh, of Blade Runner items has grown over the years, and some people from the eighties think, "Well, I have an old holster in my in my uh, in my uh, somewhere. I can put it up on eBay and sell it for six hundred fifty dollars. Why not?" Who who? Who wouldn't do that if they had the possibility to do so? Yeah. But anyway, um, overall, I would give this specific holster a 9 out of 10. Um, for first, uh, because of the price, it is cheap compared to all the other options that, that you have on the market. It is comparable uh, in quality to the uh, Stein Schneider uh, holster. It is uh, comparable to the Japanese uh, holsters. And um, if you live in Europe, uh, and uh, there will be no uh, custom fees uh, except for maybe England or the UK, but uh, maybe there you have other options to receive one of those. I don't really know. But yeah, overall, it's a great uh, item that will go very well in my collection and that I will uh, put on when I do a cosplay of Deckard in the near future. Um, as I mentioned, I try to darken this with uh, leather polish, and I don't know if you can see that, but the leather polish gave it more of a, a, a good shine, and it's really shiny. It isn't, like, um, uh, greasy or anything, it's just shiny, and that is because I gave it a good, good polish. Uh, the scuffs, however, are my own fault, uh, it's meant to be used, it's meant to be worn out, and uh, I don't have a problem with that. So, uh, as I mentioned before, if I ever do a cosplay on Deckard, I will totally wear this, and uh, I, w I won't forget the orange tip on my blaster. Uh, what I also did on the uh, 3D printed model is I had some uh, cables from the Tip Top Workshop kit, and uh, I decided to cut it off and put the uh the the cable on here that is also visible in the movie so now it makes sense that the uh green leds also light up even though they're not in the same uh circuit as the red ones they don't light up when i pull, uh, put on the switch uh they just go on when i twist them and turn them and put them in a little yeah there it goes yeah so that is my review of the holster uh, I hope that when my uh, parts arrive from the Tip Top Workshop kit, that uh, I, I I have to explain that a little more. Um, the Tip Top Workshop kit, in of itself, is great. It has great quality pewter pieces. It has uh, great quality uh, workmanship on it. It, it. it comes with all the parts necessary to put it together. Even though it it requires a lot of filing and a lot of sanding and stuff like that, it um, yeah, it, <laughs> there were a little complications, um, to, so to speak. Uh, the aluminum barrel that came with the kit had uh, I can show it here because uh, I don't have it at hand right now. Uh, the holes that are uh, in the barrel here and here we're not on the total opposing side of each other and this way I couldn't put in any screws 
And uh, I contacted Dave, I explained the problem that I had, and he was super nice, and he said, oh, totally my bad, I probably must have slipped, and it's it's off by like two or three millimeters, and uh, he said when he has a batch ready, he will uh, send out a new one, so yeah, there's just that, and um, there's just no uh, specific timetable when I will do the uh, build lock that I planned, I... Uh, have the kit for like three weeks now I, I i received it three weeks ago or so or almost a month ago i'm not quite sure but yeah um there's that and uh, there's just the uh the pain of waiting to build this together and film a video on it uh that's all that i just have right now and uh, if i receive any new Blade Runner items in the future. I mentioned in the uh, in the in a community post before um, that I uh, have a, have an eye on like Deckard's wallet and uh, the original glasses used in the movie by Mag Magnolia's clothing, I believe is the company's name. And uh, the both of these items, they sit in New Zealand. Uh, both of those items would set me back at around like. 150 euros and uh, that does not include customs so it is quite hard not to just push the buy button and uh, say well fuck it i can i can spend that money on that but actually i can't i'm not <laughs> i'm not a millionaire and i don't have an endless pit of money that i can use to buy stuff like that um but yeah that's my review on the uh, holster that is uh, a little update and I see you guys in the next video and until then bye bye